Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is Yasmin here and I just picked up my second Luxie Cup order. Excuse me, here with my knife. I've got to open it up, so I'm opening up right in front of your faces. This is not my first Luxie Cup. I actually, my first Luxie Cup was this baby here. Comes with my little lid. I should put the lid on to make it really, really but my first Luxie Cup order was the middle child and this is the color in peachy so how I came to know about Luxie Cup so I followed another girl's channel on Instagram and she was kind of like I wanted to uh, keep cup in order to make me as myself motivated to actually remember to take my keep cup to go get the coffee rather than using disposable takeout cups. Now, if you know about disposable takeout cups, they're actually not recyclable at all. They, um, they, there are some which are, they claim to be compostable, but they need to be obviously composted in a certain amount of temperature and they're not able to be recycled because they've got this coating on the inside of the plastic. As Australians, we, we are like the best coffee drinkers in the world. We have the best coffee ever. If you've ever been to Italy, even Italy's coffee does not compare to ours. And as Australians, we go through so many coffee cups, like it's unbelievable. So that's why there's this whole thing about, you know, taking your own cup down, taking your own takeaway containers down, taking your own cutlery, like bamboo stuff, and pretty much like like for, my, for me, it wasn't a, a case of I needed a really pretty cup to take down to get my coffee. I was already taking down heat cups. I had this ceramic cup, I had another glass cup, I have a, like another cup. And I just thought, well, you know what? Because I have a bit of an Instagram social media following, I thought, you know what? If it was kind of like a better looking cup, it would make for better social media posts and photos that would make for more of an influential ability for all of you. Like if you guys remember from years ago, everyone was refilling the Voss glass water bottles um, and putting like fruit and stuff in them for like all their Instagram photos look amazing. If you don't know, Voss water in Australia comes in glass and it has been coming glass for a very long time. Now they have some in plastic, but I know overseas in America, they're like literally all plastic. But in Australia, they're pretty much glass. So you could like refill them and the cylinder, like I believe that these kind of resemble what those Voss look like. Like it's definitely very Instagram looking worthy. The reason that I chose the middle child, which is kind of like in between the smoothie cup and the original, which goes to 16 ounces here. And the original goes to 12, I believe. Is because I could use this for smoothies. I could use it for regular coffees. I could use it for soups and, and you need to take one cup rather than two. So I ordered this one in the peachy and then I also got a second lid for it, which obviously has the like the straw hole there. Like I didn't order the straw and the reason that I didn't order the straw was because I have lots of straws. But going back, I should have ordered the straw. The reason being is like I've got a bunch of these straws, right? And it's completely correct what they say. And that is like, I'm also a freak and I drink my coffee out of a straw because I like to keep my teeth white. So if I'm, I'm not going to do it, but if I'm going to drop, well, I'll just put it in there gently, right? So that kind of doesn't sit flush. It kind of sits like wonky. So if I'm going to like drop that down, I could get a chip or something in the glass that's down the bottom and crack it. And also it's not very high. So I guess like if this was a bamboo straw, I wouldn't have that same issue. So I stopped using that in there and I have like a silicone straw, which will fit inside these lids completely okay. So the silicone lid will go in completely fine. Um, and it fits perfectly, but I did find that when I put that in and I would close the lid because of the pressure, cause there's literally no pressure in there, that like I would get some liquid come out of the top, if that made sense. But one of these like bendy silicone lids will fit inside the smoothie cup really fine. I also got the label printed at the label store as well because I put my name on it. So you know, like when these are down at the coffee shop, they know which cup is yours. Um, so I have got, and like from a first impression, when I received this, I actually thought it's really thin glass. I thought this is really, really super delicate. Um, 
But then I realized that the reason for this is so that it's not heavy. So when you fill these with liquid, it's gonna become more heavy. And I know this from when I have my regular peep cups, that they're this is heavy as it is, right? And even when I had a glass one, it's heavy. So it can break, right? So if you drop this, yeah, it can break. And look, I, this is a peep cup that I had that was a thicker glass. And this didn't even drop very far. This was like in the cupboard and it was towards the end, really, really low down and literally fell out onto this timber flooring. So it wasn't even a really hard floor and it's still smashed. Um, so, you know, like it is thinner glass. It is handmade. It's not like machine made. It's been handmade, blown made by a person. So it's quite delicate and although it's got like this silicone things down the bottom which come off, the silicone is really super good quality. I was super impressed with that. Is that yeah, you have to kind of be careful with it. Like don't go, if you drop it on a floor, well you know what I mean, like it is glass, right, at the end of the day. But the reason that it's so thin is so it's like not heavy, especially when you fill it with liquid. So it came with a dribble bag. I love the dribble bag, by the way. So I go to the cafe with it in my dribble bag, like so. I put in there my lids, my straw, and then when this gets like a bit gross, because obviously the dribble bag is designed to get dirty, um, you throw it in the washing machine along with everything else. The way you clean these silicone is um, how this is how the owner said to clean it, is you get rubbing alcohol or lemon essential oil and you rub um, the lighter colors are more susceptible to staining than others if you're like myself and you're a freak and you drink your coffee through a straw then you're probably going to have less of an impact like getting lipstick marks or whatever around the thing the like the mouth hole so my thing is right so i got one and i always thought i just want one because i only need one cup right but then if you're a girl like me and when you go and get your pedicure, you get a different color like every three weeks. For myself, like some girls get the same color over and over and over, one or two colors. For me, I have, I feel like it's kind of like color therapy. Like I feel what color I'm kind of vibing and I'll go with that. And when I was looking at all these Luxie Cup colors, it's kind of like, I feel that same thing. I'm kind of, one time I'm really drawn to yellow, one time I'm really drawn to turquoise. Um, and I really feel that like Luxie Cup has the ability to be able to kind of like go with whatever color that you're vibing at that particular time. So these bottoms and tops are interchangeable. So if you have like one glass, you can buy bases or lids and mix and match it up, which I think is super, super cool. So hence why I got another order, which was not the only other reason I got another order. I got another order because I decided to get a smaller one and I decided to get a smoothie cup. The smoothie cup comes with a straw and I decided that I would, rather than using this straw, which doesn't, you know, I could risk damaging my cup or the silicone, I decided to get a pretty luxy cup straw. So the smoothie cup comes with a straw and you can choose whatever color that you want. So, and they released this new color, it'd be called Frenchie, which is like a purple color. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was literally sitting there within my cart going, do I want another one? Do I want the yellow one? Do I want like a minty green one? What do I want? And then suddenly they released this purple and I was like, no, it has to be purple. So I got the smoothie cup and I also got an original and I'm gonna show you what else I got. Moment of truth. So I chose, I, when you order it, you can opt for as minimal packaging as you want, or you can opt for gift packaging. I got, like, I mean, if I was getting this for a gift for someone or myself, I would just get it in gift box, but it's not. So I got the minimal packaging. So this is how it came with the minimal packaging. Some paper, all of this can go into the recycling bin. And then you get like a little note going, thank you. Thank you so much, Yasmin. Thank you, Luxie. And this is how it comes in the minimal packaging. It doesn't have any styrofoam or anything. It just comes in this like paper wrap and more paper wrap down the bottom to just ensure that it's like done properly. And all of that goes into the recycling bin. That's super. Woo, so I got one. Two. 
So when I went with the color vibes, so I got a smoothie cup in the mint and a smoothie cup in the lemon. And this can also fit on my, this will fit on my smoothie cup, which is inside there, but also my middle child. So I can like vibe up different colors as I feel like I'm going along. Yay! So now I'll show you the rest of what I got. And it comes with these little notes on there. Thank you so much for your support. So one thing too that I'm also going to point out is that I really like to support local business, especially like local small business. So if something's like coming from anything that's Australian owned, made, operated, um, I'm all for it. Like there are people who have these small businesses and they have regular jobs, but they're just super, super passionate about what that they do and on a really good thing just for the environment. And um, I don't know, I'm really down. Lately, I think like more aware that I've become about the global economy and everything. I'm more about supporting local business. So excited. Yay! So this is this smoothie cup and the smoothie cup goes to 20, in, uh, 20 ounces. Actually, no, 22 ounces because the fill line at the top is 22. It came with the regular cup so I could have like a huge, massive coffee with that and it also comes with the smoothie lid as well and the straw I chose a rose gold straw and it came with another dribble bag I like love these dribble bags so much it was like the ultimate selling point for me so the difference in the size between that's a smoothie cup and that's a middle child I use like a large coffee in that and that is for a smoothie I'm absolutely in love so in love with this color. Oh, it's got the cleaner in there. Oh, why is it like, it's got a cleaner in there. There, I was like, what's dangling down? And see that like fit. Oh, yeah, so you gotta put it like the other way cause that's got the luxy bit at the top. Like the, yay, hooray. And I got an original size. which is for like, when I go to get my regular coffee, you know what I mean? Like my regular size, like I don't need like a big one, I just need to take a little one down. Again, same thing, super duper 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 cute. And that's it there. But I can also, look how awesome this is, I can put the green, ah! Oh my gosh, where's the yellow, where's the yellow, where's the yellow? Oh my goodness, oh the yellow. Yay! This is so awesome. Thank you, Luxie Cup. So if you want to really, really support local business, then definitely give them a go. I think they're super awesome and they look like super, and if you like cute, you can mix and match the colors. This is again, like a non-affiliated, unsponsored. I bought all of these myself. Um, I didn't like, haven't been given anything for these. This is just like me and what I think and what I feel, but I'm like totally, totally digging it. And if you're like me and you like to switch up your colors a lot, definitely give it a go. I would highly recommend like if you want to just switch the cup the colors, you can get different color lids and bases and just mix and match up and get your dribble bag because honestly this has like saved my handbag so 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 much oh, one thing I'm gonna just like add is that if you ever have silicone like obviously this other glass I've actually dropped and smashed it but that can go into the recycling bin now silicone is recyclable however like silicone if you put this into your trash bag like trash waste it will not decompose like ever like ever 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 it needs to go into recycling bin but you need to check with your council whether or not within that curbside recycling bin whether they recycle silicone otherwise you need to take it to a company called TerraCycle they're in many countries around the world Australia US UK Brazil and they will recycle silicone. So that, just make sure that like if anything ever happens, like your silicone gets old or if you have anything old and they take plastics as well, make sure you dispose of it like in the right way and actually not dispose of it, make sure it's getting recycled in the right way. This is a dribble bag that I have used today and I've used it probably a couple of times. You can see the coffee stain whatever here like these are designed to be used and to be worn and to fade and to get grubby so when it gets grubby you just wash it 
it's designed like it's better off these get grubby than like your bag gets grubby and to be honest like I don't really care this is like a brand new pristine beautiful one but you know what even when these get old and faded and gross and stained like he still works perfectly you know what I mean like I'll just keep that as a spare for when these get like uber uber like gross and worn out but then they can become a rag like you can use it for cleaning in your bathroom you can use it for cleaning whatever but you know what they last like a very 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 long time but who cares if it gets gross so when you want your label like on these cups so as you can see I've got my name on here Yasmin and I'm going to put a label onto this one here right now for you. I got these from the label store and you can get labels for pretty much like anything if you're going zero waste like all your containers and what, what not. Um, so I ordered one but they send you two instead so you can have a spare. There are different fonts and different colours and stuff, so you collect and sizes. So if you just hit them up and you go, hey, it's like for a luxy couple or something, you can um they'll tell you what to get. So it comes in a little like sticker thing like that. Thanks for your order. And it's super, super cheap. Like I think that I don't even know how much it costs. Like it only costs like a few dollars, honestly. So you get an alcohol swipe, they'll send you one, and if you They'll send you one, but if you don't like, if you because you get sent two, so if you need another one, then it's just like an alcohol or just rubbing alcohol of any kind. I'm a little OCD, so I try and put it on. So give that a good wipe. Then you you peel that. Clean it and dry it so that it's doesn't get any like particles underneath it. So and then you get like a card or something and you just like keep rubbing, 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 rubbing down. I'm going completely zero waste with most things. So I've got all these jars that I've collected. So I'm probably going to start ordering like a bunch of these labels in different colors and stuff for all, you know, like chickpeas, flour. Plastic thing will go into the soft plastic recycling that I will take down to Woolworths. Or and that's how you get a Luxy cup with your name on it. So this is freshly boiled water and here we go pouring it straight into the Luxy cup. So it's not like glass that you can't pour freshly boiled water into. I've never, ever, 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 ever had it smash ever, you know, when glass shatters because it's boiling water. And then you go put the lid on. Excuse my band-aid finger. And there we have it. It will definitely not shatter, not drop off. Also that bottom bit, I'm just gonna add as well, has like a circle grip thing on it. So that if you're ever at a cafe or somewhere, that thing, it's pretty flush. Like when I lift it up, it kind of has a little tiny bit of a suction thing going on. So if you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up as well as the bell notification and the subscribe. And I'm going to wash these out and go get a coffee.